Hey y'all, welcome back. Some more Art Rage 6 painting. This time I'm gonna do a nighttime scene, city scene, painted at a street corner. The original painting is up in the corner. I'm using it as my reference. That is a gouache painting I did, partially a la prima, partially in the studio. Here you can see I was playing with the lighting, lighting angle, and texture intensity of my canvas. Art Rage 6 affords you much more control over all of this, giving you exactly what you want the effect to look like. Um, it was good before, it's better now. I think that's what I would say about a lot of Art Rage 6s. It was good before and it's better now. Um, using the palette knife and a little bit of the oil brush just to kind of show the changes here. The oil brush now has a gloss setting so you can have deep, big, thick impasto that is either matte or gloss or you can set the depth basically of the paint to be thin or thick, whatever you want, and it's awesome. So just kind of knocking in some of the basic shapes here. Um, I love the opportunity to just keep it really simple and focus on the design, focus on the big areas of lights and darks. Um, now what I want to do though is see if I can use some of these custom brushes that I created for the express purpose of replicating this natural media feel. These are, are brushes I call gouache one, two, gouache, or gouache one, gouache two, gouache three, gouache four, all the way through gouache eight. And I'm using different brushes that I created actually very rapidly. Um, but, but I wanted them to have the feel of, of natural media. And I'm delighted to, to tell you that I really am surprised at how effective the new brush engine is or the brush tool is that it gives you that depth. It gives you that um, blending interaction. It gives you that um, three-dimensionality of the best of our rage, all in custom brushes. So what really drew me to this picture initially was the, the kind of rhythm of night emerging from the day as the clouds parted and the moon comes out and the cars come out and the reflections of the lights of the car in the street. And that's what I'm painting right there in the corner is some of the headlamp of the vehicle as it's coming to the coming to the intersection. And, um, I was really motivated by the design the, and the combination of the natural and the artificial light and the different colors of the lights. And um, I wanted to see if I could capture it with the same intensity, the same um, immediacy as I did with traditional media here using Art Rage. And, and you know, it's a little bit rough in the sense that I'm using new tools, brushes I just created that are sort of untested and doing it all live, so to speak. My original painting here, and you can see the, um, the on-the-fly manipulation, creating a brush on the go. Uh, my original painting, it took me maybe 40 minutes to do the whole thing start to finish with narration, with, you know, glitches, with trying things. Um, and I can post the entire video in its length and all my kind of thoughts along the way if you want. Um, but for tonight, I just wanted to do a quick sped up version um, just to keep it simple and short. It, it hopefully still showcases what Art Rage 6 can do. Hopefully it still showcases the, the feeling, the look, the interaction of the media, the way that the custom brushes can really give you something very unique, something that um, I, it has a feel that I haven't been able to find in any other software, so I'm really fond of it. And it's um, it's something that I wish you know every digital artist would give a shot. I, mean, I think sometimes there's a lot of competition out there in digital painting software, and you know maybe if you're on the iPad, you're using Procreate or or, or the ArtRage Mobile, or um, you know there's there's just a ton of different things you can be using. But I think Art Rage is in a league of its own when it comes to the, the kind of things it can do to make paint feel like natural media. It's every time I use it, especially when they do these big updates, I get so excited. And I want everybody to give it a shot. So I hope you guys do. Um, I'm using a little bit of the oil brush mixed in with the custom brushes I created and the reason why is the brushes I made, I, I didn't get all the variety of brushes that I, I kind of needed. Um, I didn't create a kind of a sharp edge, little um, chisel -y brush to kind of get some of those details and 
and real edgy elements that I that are part of this picture. So I use the oil brush kind of with a, a real stiff bristle and real thin paint to kind of scratch in and, and, and scrape over top of what I put down with the custom brushes. But I use the custom brushes for you know 90% of this painting and and it the whole time I just am delighted. I think um, more than anything, I was surprised. I was surprised at what a good reproduction of one of my traditional paintings this could be, and what a satisfying process it was to create it. And, you know, just like you've always been able to do, you can record the script of it and save it for replay, or you can replay your script at a larger, much larger size and then save that for printing or whatever you want to do. It has all the same good features it always had. Um, it just lets you have more versatility and range with what matters most in a painting software, which is the brushes. So, um, super excited about this. Very excited to be sharing these videos right now and hoping that these tutorials slash introductions slash painting sessions will help inspire you to get behind the canvas again, whether that's digital or traditional, and inspire you to, um, take a look at our rate six because our rate six is is just another one of those important evolutions in an already great software so as we kind of aim to wrap this up um, I want to just kind of point out a couple things um, I think the software now does an even better job of being a natural media sim simulator than it ever has the software does um, is just more more feature rich than it's ever been. Here I flipped the canvas just so I can get a better look at what I was doing. I was trying to paint really fast and I had my seat sort of off to the side and it kind of had my perspective a little off. So um, getting to flip the canvas helps me see it, helps me move it, use the warp tool to kind of rearrange some of my vertical lines and um, and then just kind of bouncing in and out with some of the, the brushes I created and really, really loving it. I mean, then I create a, a new layer and use some really big strokes to just knock in some of that big, big, bro bold bravado that is what made the, the original piece work. So hopefully you love this painting. Hopefully you love um, what's going on with Art Rage 6. Please check it out. Check out my uh, Instagram, Patreon, all that stuff. Enjoy. Thanks so much for checking it out. And if you want to see the long form of this, let me know.